Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Monday. We are still obviously in Hawaii. And uh, every, every time I put my phone over the ledge here, it freaks me out. <sighs> uh, so right today we're going to um, Hanahuma Bay. And it is the extinct volcano that flooded and then became a coral reef. And it's become very famous and popular. So you try to, we're supposed to be there before around 7.30. It is 7.39. It takes about t half an hour uh, to get there from here. And uh, they actually at one point turned everybody away. So we're going to hopefully, I know it's the summertime, so that's probably working against us. Uh, but it is Monday. I wouldn't want to try this on a Saturday. After that, we might try to go to another couple places up the thing. But there's Sandy Beach, there's Makapu Beach, there's the Blowhole, Chinaman's Hat, and things like that. And we'll try to videotape as much as possible. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, uh, I am shooting lots of stuff for the whole family. Uh, but there are, like again, there are people uh, in my family that don't want to necessarily want to be on a vlog. They don't want to share their life, so which is fine. We accept that and respect that is that what i said we respect that uh but just for you guys i'm sharing my life with you let's go Ben, yeah. I don't want to rescue you, Ben. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! Told you. So we're just down the road at that lookout, which is just north of Hanauma Hena Bay. And now we're at this at the blowhole. And I'll take you down there. I've got my microphone. This microphone. For the wind. Lots of wind. But uh, check this out. So I'm guessing, depending on the time of day yeah. and the conditions, but it's down there somewhere, and uh, you can see the little mist come up once in a while. I'll see if we can capture it for you. So that was the blowhole. Uh, when we first came here, there was buses and tons of people. Now there's like hardly anybody here. So depending on your timing, depends on whether or not you get a good position. And then you have to wait like five sometimes minutes or more to actually get the blowhole to psh. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. All right, Sandy Beach, here we come. So this is Sandy Beach and uh, we've decided not to, uh, to swim here. We'll move on to another beach. Although it looks cool. The reason why it's so dangerous to swim here because it breaks right at the shore and will pile drive you into the sand. By the time you finish swimming here, you have sand everywhere. Oh, total soaker.
then just got smashed. Awesome. Yeah. They gotta stay together. Yeah. experience so far. Okay, That's we're insane. probably only in for like 15, 20 minutes maybe. Oh. Exhausted. Just trying to, th there's so much water here that it like pulls you back. So no matter how much uh, ground you gain, you just keep pulling out so you're constantly trying to, and then when you stand up and you get hit from behind, knocks you off your feet, sucks you out again. Once you're out there, it's great. So it's like a roller coaster. But trying when to get back in. The curl, the curl area. The curl area. No good. Like where it's peaking. Yeah. All right, time to uh, shower all this crap off our body. Is there a shower? As you can see, we made it back to the hotel, condo, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna back up against this wall so the wind doesn't get the mic. Uh, I forgot to, not forgot, just didn't videotape anything after uh, Sandy Beach. Uh, from Sandy Beach, uh, we went to Makapu Beach and I shot a bunch of drone shots uh, and Sea Life Park. So here's that moment. We went to Makapu Beach. Uh, we went continuously up the coast. Uh, we, um, I think, yeah, Makapu Beach. And then we went to a, another very long beach, and I'm not sure what beach that was called, but there was, you know, quite a few people swimming. And uh, we just said, you know what, this is lunch, so let's uh, break out the, the picnic basket. And with all the groceries we bought, so we had like a $400 uh, spread. Just kidding. So we had packed our lunch before we left. Uh, so we said, let's just eat our lunch here, whether we go swimming or not. We really wanted to find a place to snorkel, and that's why we wanted to go to Hanahuma Bay. And uh, so we sat down, ate our lunch, and then Ben went, grabbed his, his uh, mask. He was gonna go, go into the water. And so Carol said, just go ask the lifeguard, which is right down, uh, like maybe 10, 15, 20 feet off to the left. So Ben went over and talked to the lifeguard, and the lifeguard said, uh, it's, it's safe to swim here, but there's man of war, and people do get stung. It's, it's not a rare occurrence. It's uh, something that happens all the time. So that kind of like deterred us, and then we were thinking, no, we're not gonna swim. And all of a sudden, after lunch, Carol just stood up, went in the ocean. And we're like, okay, Carol's braving it. So we, uh, is that what it's called? That's what it's called. Oh, thank you, Carol. It's called Waimanao <laughs> Beach Park. It's an L-O at the end. Oh, L-O, okay. Why? 
Manalo. Why Manalo? Manalo Beach Park. Sounds good to me. Yeah, something like Thank that. you for that. So you're eavesdropping. Of course. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm a loud talker. It came in handy. So we had our lunch there. Like I said, Carol went into the water and that was it. And we're like, okay, we guess we're all going in. Grabbed snor snorkel and mask. Uh, I shot a few shots underwater, but there wasn't a whole lot of good chunky coral for a lot of fish to be around. So this is the footage from that. After I did a little snorkeling, uh, Ben decided to do some, well, we all decided to do some body surfing, and here's a couple of shots I got of Ben getting completely smoked. After we ate our lunch, after we swam, did some body surfing, snorkeling, uh, we decided to drive a little bit further up the coast. There was like a little tiny town with a very long strip mall. Then there was a jack-in-the-box there and an ice cream shop and a store or a little restaurant called Ken's. My family didn't know I had a, I had a restaurant here in, in Hawaii, but I do, apparently. Uh, so we just had some ice cream. Uh, I did ice I did, uh uh, pineapple and coconut. It basically was like a pina colada type ice cream in a, a waffle cone. I like waffle cones out of all the cones. A waffle cone is the way to go. Had that and once we did that we... Oh and then there's a shop there. We got a new Hawaiian shirt and uh, it's a nice Hawaiian shirt. I really enjoyed that. Uh, as soon as I saw it, it was on, the only one that they had on a mannequin was the one I wanted and so but they had a, a, a the size I wanted in the racks. So the lady was extremely nice and went and grabbed it for me, bought that, and then we drove all the way back here. And uh, I did all the postcards for all the Patreons on the 20 to $25 level. Uh, wrote them all out, got all the addresses on them, and they're sitting on my desk for tomorrow to mail out. So hopefully they get them before I get home. That would be kind of cool if they got them before I got home let me know on the Patreon page if you got it or not. And uh, we just ate dinner and now we're going to go for a walk on Waikiki Beach and uh, we will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out.